This is my friend Vito. He is an artist. It's not like everyone you meet on the street. He painted this, the Long Branch <laughs> Pier, on the side of an ice cream stand in Long Branch, New Jersey. Yeah, he said that the back MPM. You owe me a car valve! <laughs> See, this is where you got your start beat. Naked ladies. Drawing painted ladies. Signs of, uh, um, go-go. I painted that in Carolina. Living room. Not very good lettering. There's not much call for an artist in the Long Branch. No. This is about it. All night long, I must have been <laughs> Yeah, you can see I've been there a while. Look at the chair. The tide is washed up around. That's Sal's house. In Long Branch. One Barber Square. And who is that on the beach? Still know. painting. I don't know. Wondering when the chair's gonna fit. It's like quicksand. That's nice. That was a good day. That was spring, 1977. Beautiful day. I wasted it painting. May? It must have been May. Yeah. I'm doing a painting of uh, Style House. Disappeared now. Why the fuck? You've rented that how long? Oh. Uh, what's that on your shirt? That's the uh, t shirt. I did the drawing for the catalog, for the fall catalog, 1977, and I used it. In up six dozen t-shirts and sold them. We'll take a close-up of that in a second, but I see you're adding orange to the uh, to the bulkhead there. Uh, did you just spot some of the rust color and now are trying yeah, to Yeah, it looks that rather up? rough, uh, but that's what it is. I'm just bringing out the rust colors. And I paint what I see. It's like a photograph. Impression. But when you get close, it's not there. Well, it's true with anything. If you move up very close to someone you know and look at their face very close, you don't recognize it. There's the Art Students League, it's a pen and ink drawing of it. These are studies that I, that I work on. I'm, but even the major paintings I do on location. I don't uh, work like, in the studio unless I'm working still life or portraiture. Dabs of color. What kind of paint is that? Well, it's oil paint. This is a uh, an impressionistic painting I did at the bicentennial uh, exhibit. Uh, it relates a story about a woman in black appearing on Easter Sunday morning in a Union camp in Freehold. Uh, this is Carolyn. Carolyn Gunther, my girlfriend. What kind of uh, is that oils to her? Uh, no, that's acrylics. It's uh, very that's a very early painting of mine. This is Jumbo's in Long Branch. It's, it was a hot dog hamburger place, and since now, now it's been torn down. A collector's item. In the Adirondacks, there's a, a private estate with a covered bridge, and I was on a boat, and I painted this from the boat. Mosquitoes were terrible. Leaning up against the fireplace, I built. Ah! Who's that? That's a self-portrait uh, sculpture that I did. Uh, the only sculpture that I've got, that I've done. That was a good experience. That's pretty good. It looks just like you, as we will see in a minute. The 
that's bronze? No, that's a plastic. Wow, what is this, Vito? This is uh, based on a Monet painting. It was a study. And uh, who's that? This Carolyn? Is, uh, Carolyn? This is like a, another aspect or another feeling that I had. Uh, this was uh, done, very, I think, 74. This is many years ago. Uh, this is a Beatrix Potter rendition of the Gunther household and Vito. Uh, and who are those people in the painting? You know? Those two are uh, Andrea Lauren and there's Carolyn bringing me coffee. And there's me, the old toad, reading a sex magazine, watching TV. And I used to smoke quite a bit. Wow, this is very impressionistic, I'd say. Yeah, this, this is just color. This is uh, this chroma, different uh, impressions. Here's another study I did of the pier, Long Branch Fishing Pier. You can see sort of just the dabs of color, how they take on shape and you recognize them as, you know, mass of people. I like that. I think it worked well. Long Branch Pier from the other side? Yeah, this is taken from the boardwalk where Jumbos used to be. <laughs> this is a study to, uh, since then I've ruined this painting, it no longer exists. Uh, I went back into it. This one has a nice feeling to it. So it has that summer misty uh, quality to it. And in Red Bank. Red Bank, New Jersey. The waterfront. Uh... And here's the uh, tea garden at Mama's College uh, in early spring. I was trying to get that crisp feeling of spring. So uh, bright. You have a certain color clarity to your paintings. Yeah, I, I primarily work with color. I, I don't really work with line and, and I forms as much. I build my forms with color. As you can see, like, they're just dabs of color and uh, they take on solid shapes and forms. Some people work with straight lines and fill in. I just work building color on top of color. These are some of the very serious studies that I did, which helped me tremendously, trying to show uh, depth, uh, you know, transparencies, uh, textures, reflections. Just a minute, let me focus the camera here. That's much Look at better. the detail in there. Isn't that amazing? But it's the same as the pier. It's, it's all impressions. It's just dabs of color. There's nothing drawn. There's no line that's filled in. And that's you? Uh, yeah, that's a, uh, me in one of the mirrors. See, there's two mirrors in this thing. One facing one way and then the round mirror. Let's see. That's a successful painting. That's a rather large also. Four foot by two. And this and, is uh, Sue. This is Sue. Yeah, Sue promised to pose for me. Uh, she would pose for this one. I would give it to her and then she would pose for another one and that's the one I would keep, but she never posed past the first one. I see. So... She's I a pretty good it. model. Yeah, she, she, she was pretty good. This is up in Vermont. I, I, I like the idea of... Uh, I was working primarily in violets as an underpainting and then I liked the idea and I wanted to give the idea of the outside being different. That's you. Huh? Yeah, this is a pencil, pencil drawing. This is the inside of Carolyn's house in uh, Eaton Town, where I took down her garage wall and built the fireplace. It's, it's about seven foot square, open on all four sides. An open fireplace all the way around. Yeah, it's supported by those four angle irons, and uh, I still designate it as a hard hat area. You look pretty tired, Vito. Well, look at all the work I've done. Cut out portions of the wall there too. Give it that uh, open feel. Wow, very nice. There's the uh, Beacon Beach in Point Pleasant, New Jersey. I was trying to get that happy, bright sunlight, uh, sort of this kaleidoscopic feeling that you get on the beach. Yeah. I think you got it. Yeah, I, I kind of like this one too. Look at all the people just with dabs of paint. You can almost see their faces. Everything turns into candy. <laughs> That's good. That's good line. There's that self-portrait again. Whoops. That's the, the, really the, 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 That's <laughs> all, folks. That was Vito Policarpus. San Salvador Taki saying...
so long, happy trails to you, till we meet again. Yeah.